I was born with a rare disease called cystinosis. It affects your entire body. Her whole life, Heidi Hughes has battled the complications of this rare disease. Kidneys are the first ones to reject. So I had a first kidney transplant in 2002. It was donated by my dad. Because her dad could not be a live donor for her again, the retired Vero Beach firefighter started a campaign looking for a match for his daughter. Up the coast in Edgewater, Lieutenant David Blair saw the call for help. And I think it comes with my profession as a firefighter. We're just, that's what we do. We, someone calls us and we go and we help them no matter who they are. The two firefighters knew each other distantly from working at Daytona Speedway. But Lieutenant Blair had never met Heidi. I've grown up uh, in church and, you know, the, you know, love one another is something that's always been preached. And that's just, you know, love conquers all. So, you know, I don't look at it as a stranger or a, a family member. It's just somebody in need. The two met for the first time at dinner the night before the transplant. We just had a good time and, and I got to meet her and we talked about the whole process. And, you know, it was an emotional time, but it was great to finally meet her. And I was so happy I got to give him a big hug before the transplant. Lieutenant Blair and Heidi had surgery on November 15th and both are recovering well. Lieutenant Blair is on light duty until he fully recovers, but says he'd do it again if he could. If I had four kidneys, I'd gladly give away three of them. As for Heidi. I think like the moon is the limit. I'm going to go past the sky and like super out of space. The two families plan to meet again as soon as Heidi is feeling up to it, and they hope their story encourages more people to become live donors. Kelly Rippon, West 2 News.